This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Jason Brewer, the CEO of Marula Mining. Following news of an acquisition into the company, this time it is Cobalt through issuing 1 million shares to uh, Mansena Cobalt to take 51% and a further cash payment of £100,000 after due diligence. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Jason. How are you? I'm, I'm good, Mark, and it's great to see you again. Always good to see you, Jason. So we're talking again. I mean, there's lots to catch up on. I know it's been a little while since we have actually spoken, but of course, a new acquisition into Cobalt this time. So give some rationale behind uh, why you've added this uh, to the suite of the Marula uh, commodities that you have in the, in the company. Yeah, sure. Look, I mean, Marula, unashamedly a battery-focused metals company, uh, multi-project, multi-jurisdiction. So, sorry about that one. Um, multi-project, multi-jurisdiction, and we wanted to get the full suite of battery metals. You know, we've got the graphite, we've got the copper, we've got the lithium. Uh, cobalt has been one of those key commodities we've been focused on. Um, and we've been focused on securing a project outside of the DRC, which is, of course, where a fair large majority of the world comes from. So Southern Africa and South Africa in particular has been a key focus of us, and it's been good to get this done, it's taken us several months to get there, uh, but we're excited by it because it's a very high grade uh, project, Brownfields, and one that benefits for some great infrastructure. So I think it's a very good move for us. Okay. Well, I did notice there was some uh, some chatter about this news this morning, and I think someone had actually done uh, what you want to call it, the back of the napkin. I think it was actually using uh, you know recent uh, advances in AI there, talking about the the amount you've got there, seven hundred thirty three thousand tons of cobalt at eight um, percent, working that out to be approximately two billion or so uh, in the ground there, working at thirty five thousand a ton. So I mean, you know, it's probably too early to be talking about these kind of numbers at the moment do, do you think and i mean you do want to be going down you've said the bankable feasibility study so we will be seeing some real numbers from this project absolutely mark absolutely um you've got a historically producing mine here um producing some time ago let's, let's be honest here but uh, it produced at very high grades did sales um main sorry cobalt grades running over 15% and with gold grades running in the ounces, you know, up to, you know, multiple ounces, five, six, seven ounces per tonne. So you've got some very significant mineralization there. We have agreed with Mancina, the, the local partner there, to complete a very systematic exploration program, which will include resource reserve definition drilling. The, the resources which we quoted were very clearly stated as being non jaw compliant. So we need to go through them. Those resources go down 200 meters. It's still very shallow for a small underground operation, but we need to do the work. We need to prove that up and accompany it as part of that bankable feasibility study with proper mine planning and with the metallurgy as well. Um, you know, the metallurgy is going to be a key area of focus for us. And it, it's one which, you know, we're committed to do. So that study work will commence over the course of this quarter. Right. Okay, good. So getting active on the, on yet another project. I mean, just before we talk about uh, the wider projects in the Marula portfolio here, of course, your share is currently suspended pending the accounts, isn't it? I know a lot of companies have had uh, sort of problems with this this year for some reason. A number of companies on the LSE, junior miners, are having to suspend. But where are you at with getting those accounts submitted and the, that suspension being lifted? Yeah, Mark, look, this is a, it's, it's not just frustrating for shells. It's very frustrating for myself. It's, it's an embarrassment. We shouldn't be in a situation. Um, I'll be very honest. I'll speak my mind as I, I usually do. I feel personally quite let down and I feel like I've let down shareholders by not being in a position that we're still trading, particularly when you put out news like we have today. Um, that work is ongoing, uh, with our existing auditors. That work, um, there was no further questions received yesterday. They've got a lot of stuff which they have come back and, and verified. A lot of it has been related to the acquisitions and how they're accounting for it, uh, and Blesberg in particular. So 
it's it's been a frustrating thing that these things will come up at the at the last minute, if you want to call it. Um, no excuses for me. It shouldn't happen, and categorically, it won't happen. Both myself and Richard, Richard Lloyd, our chairman, we've sat down, we've gone through it, and um, there are measures that will be implemented pretty much immediately, which will be relayed to shareholders through the requisite channels to demonstrate how and why this won't repeat itself. But yeah, look, I'm expecting within the next within the next week that we should be up and trading and, and shareholders can obviously start okay. responding or reacting to the news that we have put out and we are going to be putting out in the coming coming days and weeks. Okay, okay, good. And what if I can catch up a little bit on, on Blesberg there, where you said that uh, a few weeks ago now, that initial 500 tonnes of spodumene fa- sales has indeed been delayed due to logistical constraints. Were you expecting it to be concluded? over the next two to four weeks. So I guess we're sort of in that period now. I know you were keen to get that first shipment away. So where are we looking at with uh, with Blesberg? Very, look, we're, we're very, very close to getting all of that finalised now. And I know people have, got, have been saying that we've been very close for some time. Uh, Blesberg's been a big area of attention for us over the past month, not just in terms of sales, but um, we'll, uh, we'll be very, we'll be able to announce the uh, an update on the Tomra plant uh, very shortly, given some of the progress we've made there last week and, and beginning of this week. So that's going to be a very positive development for us. But um, in terms of that process, in terms of us making our first spodumene sales, uh, initial 500 tonnes, yes, we're very close towards, well, we're certainly towards the end of that two to four week period. And um, an update will be made very shortly on on that progress those sales receipts and the process of getting that material out. So, okay. yeah, I'm um, I'm more comfortable now with it. Um, South Africa has been challenged recently with a lot of its logistics and not just with rail road, with the road transportation, but also with its ports. And for South Africa, which is one of the world's premier mining jurisdictions to be to be struggling with a lot of that, that's quite a, that's a shame because it is a first world mining environment. And um, I'm hoping that that will obviously get resolved over the coming, uh, over this quarter from, for us to allow continued sustained and increased volume of spodumene sales being going out. Okay. And then you've also got um, the manganese sales as well. So I think it's a thousand tons. That's from the Larry Sorrow mine is being transported to Nairobi there with the uh, scan global logistics. And you're expecting this delivery uh, to be uh, taken fairly soon. So where are you at with, with this and how's the, uh, yeah, the, 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 perhaps the, the proceeds uh, making their way to Marula? Yeah, look, we're we're looking forward to getting to getting those in the bank. Um, that's a very exciting period for us today. We also recently announced, as you saw, uh, Fred Butia uh, as our logistics in the office on Monday, and we'll be up to Larisoro probably Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's all proceeding very well with Scan Global. You've got a great counterparty there, um, one that's very capable. We're going through the processes. Uh, it's our first export product, so we're working with the the various regulators and so on. But um, yeah, we will. Hopefully, when we resume trading, be able to come out and confirm receipt of those funds in our bank, reinvestment back in the operation. And hopefully by then, we've got the second and third load of material heading down to um, to Mombasa support. So, yeah, the manganese is, is something, just to add, Mark, the manganese is something here in um, Kenya I'm very excited about. And there's... You know, we've looked at ways of actually expanding our position here in the country and growing our, our presence and production capacity, export capacity very quickly. And hopefully there's going to be some very good news out on that very soon too. Okay, good. Well, just to finish off, Jason, there's obviously lots of projects in the Marula's uh, basket here, adding cobalt today, and of course the the, uh, the QGC partnership there and the unlocking of uh, those funds. I mean, where are you at with that? Because that's going to be a real key uh, catalyst point, isn't it, for a development of uh, of Marula? Okay, Mark. Yes, I mean I speak with Quinton on a very regular basis. I spoke with him late last night, and I speak with his team down in South Africa on a daily basis, multiple times. Um, clearly, we've got existing funding through them through the subscription agreement that um, we entered into. And we've been drawing down on that to to fund our activities, uh, our development activities, our acquisition activities. But clearly we're we're very excited about how close they are to closing off that F9 fund out of the Middle East, where 
There is a billion dollars of capital coming in. I know they're very close, sorry, to closing off that first 500 million. And that will unlock a significant amount of capital for the Marula stable of companies, uh, particularly focused on the uh, construction and development of, of processing plants and real hard infrastructure. So at Blesberg, that'll that'll mean the uh, the leaching plant for the cobalt. Uh, sorry, leaching plant for the lithium. You've got me confused between my battery metals now. So at Blesberg, we're very much looking there at uh, producing that um, lithium hydroxide, lithium carbonate, much higher value product. At Canusi, doing the uh, the copper cement plants and the copper cathode, the graphite moving very quickly there to get development moving. And on the manganese here, you know, we've, there's been high level discussions about an $11 million um, advance being made to expand processing capacity. Look, if we're able to lock that down, and that's at an indicative stage, obviously, and once and if firmed up, then we'll clearly make an announcement on it. But yeah, Quinton getting access to that fund and being able to advance funding to us will be a game changer for us. You know, we've moved quite quickly so far. Imagine having a, you know, a firework shoved up. Um, it's going to be quite a major, major impact on us. Uh, the momentum will really move, move along for us across all that projects. So I'm, I'm quite excited. I may not look at it at the moment, but um, yeah, I'm very excited about what this quarter and next has in store for, for Marula, that's for sure. Okay, well, thank you very much, Jason Brewer. It certainly sounds like things are going to start really motoring, so I'm looking forward to following how things are going more regularly. But for now, thank you very much for your time, Jason. Thanks, Mark. Always a pleasure. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like, or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.